Hi! Good day! This is Miss LM and we're back again with another math video and today we're going to talk about triangle congruence. So, this topic will be divided into three subtopics and expect na meron tayong tatlong videos for this topic. The first one is the introduction to triangle. So, we're going to define the triangle and identify different types of triangle. So, on our first subtopic, this is just a recall of what you already know and we're going to add some other information about triangles. Next subtopic is about the CPCTC theorem and here we're going to name the parts of triangles and determine the corresponding parts. And then for number three, included sides and included angles. So, here we're going to identify the included sides and included angles of a given triangle. Having these three subtopics, I think you will be ready for the different postulates about triangle congruence. So now let's begin our topic and we're going to start with our first subtopic, introduction to triangles. So here we're going to define and identify the different types of triangles. So in this subtopic, we are going to have three objectives. The first one is to define the triangle. The second one is to identify the different types of triangle. And the third one is to determine the measurement of the third angle of a triangle. So let's begin with the definition of the triangle. I know familiar na kayo sa definition ng triangle. The first one here is that it is a polygon that has three angles, three sides, and three vertices. And this definition of triangle is also the first property of the triangle, okay? Another definition of a triangle is that it is a closed figure formed by joining three line segments. So, alam naman po natin yan. Triangle, may tatlong sides, meron din siyang tatlong points, point A, point B, and point C. So, yun po yung vertices. Then, we have the angles, ayan. So, angle A, angle B, angle C, wherein meron tayong ganitong markings. So, I hope you are going to be familiar with these markings kasi po, this symbolizes that we have three different angles here. So, since meron tayong point A, point B, point C as the vertices, we can name this triangle as triangle ABC, triangle BCA, or triangle CAB. Or pwede naman po nating balik da rin, magkakaroon tayo ng CBA, ACB, BCA. So, they are all the same, okay? Ang importante po dito, meron tayong symbol ng triangle sa unahan. Using the three vertices from the triangle, we can name our triangle, okay? The parts of the triangle, again, sabi dyan, meron tayong three angles, three sides, and three vertices. So, the vertices are point A, point B, and point C. And for the angles, so we have angle BAC. So when we say BAC, ang tinutukoy niya pong angle is yung nasa gitna ng vertex, angle A. So BAC. We can also name this as angle CAB. Okay? Another angle is yung ating angle B or we have angle ABC or CBA. So ang tinutukoy po ay yung nasa gitna which is angle B. Then the last angle here, kasi nga po triangle, tatlong angle. So the third and the last angle for the triangle is angle C or we can name that as ACB or BCA. So yun nasa gitna po. And mas mainam po kung masasanay tayo to name our angles using the three vertices para po kapag meron na tayong mas complex na itsura ng triangles natin, sanay na tayong hanapin kung alin nga ba yung angle na tinutukoy using these three vertices. Okay? So, aside from the points, the angles, syempre meron tayong three sides. So, we have side AB or BA, side BC or CB, and then side CA or AC. Next, we have different types of triangles. These types of triangles can be classified according to the length of its sides and according to the internal angles. So, let's have the different types of triangles according to the length of its sides. So, alam ko medyo familiar na rin po kayo sa mga ito. First is the equilateral triangle. Pag sinabi pong equilateral, all three sides are of the same length. Yung sides daw po ng ating triangle ay may equal measurement. Paano po natin malalaman na equal yung measurement? Kalimitan po may ganito siyang marking. So, kung kanina dun sa angle, meron tayong mga arc, dito naman po sa sides, meron tayong ganito, line siya. Ibig sabihin niyan, tag-iisang line sila, equal yung measurements sila, pare-pareho lang. So, again, ang tawag natin kapag equal yung measurements ng sides is equilateral triangle. And since all three sides are of the same length, all three angles will also be equal. So, kapag equal daw ang tatlong sides, automatically equal na rin yung kanyang angles. Okay? 
Another type of triangle according to the length of its side is the isosceles triangle. So, dito naman, meron lang tayong two sides that are equal. So, two sides are of equal measure and the third side has a different length. Okay? So, paano naman natin malalaman na itong triangle ABC ay isosceles? Kung kanina, pare-pareho pong one lang yung markings niya, dito meron tayong makikita kakaiba. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, si side AB at si side BC yung equal or congruent. And then, si side AC naman or CA, sa naman po yung pangatlong side na may different length. The second type of triangle according to the length is isosceles triangle. Then, the last one is the iskaline triangle. Kung kanina, tatlong equal side na punta sa dalawang equal side na lang. And then, dito naman po sa iskaline, there are three different measurement of the sides. So, meron tayong magkakaibang length ng sides. Okay? So, kalimitan, meron po tayong ganitong marking. So, kung kanina, may 1 at saka may 2 lang na mark, ngayon, meron na tayong 1, 2, and then 3. Minsan po, yung pangatlo, hindi na natin nilalagyan. That only means na yung pangatlong yun ay iba rin po yung measurement. So, kadalasan ganito po. And if, for example po, meron tayong figure na sa tingin natin, eh, hindi naman siya scaline or hindi naman siya isosceles, pero meron siyang markings. Importante po na matandaan nyo kung ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng mga markings na yan. Okay? So, for the sides, ganyan po yung itsura ng markings. And again, ano po yung ating types of triangles according to the length of its side? So, meron tayong, the first one is the equilateral and then the other one is the isosceles and then the last one is the iskaline triangle. Now, let's have the types of triangle according to internal angles. The first one here is the acute triangle. So, when we say acute triangle, all three angles are less than 90 degrees. So, yun daw pong ating tatlong angles from this triangle ay maliit kesa sa 90 degrees. So, kapag ganyan po, yaan po ay magkakaiba po ng measurement. So, here we have 50 degrees angle A, angle B is 70 degrees, and then the last one is 60 degrees. And also, yung atin pong 60 degrees, yung tatlong angles, acute triangle din yun. Kasi 60, 60, 60, ibig sabihin po nun, acute pa rin siya. Less than pa rin yung three angles niya sa 90 degrees. So, the first one is the acute triangle. Then, the second one is the right triangle. So, pag naman po sinabing right triangle, meron tayong nag-iisang right angle. At kadalasan po, meron tayong ganitong symbol wherein siya yung nagpapakita na right angle nga siya or 90 degrees nga siya. So, kung mapapansin po natin yung markings natin dito, si angle B ay meron lang one marking and then si angle C merong dalawa. Ibig sabihin po nun, magkaiba pa rin sila ng measurement. So, here we have angle A as 90 degrees and then angle B as 30 degrees and angle C is 60 degrees according to the given. So, syempre, ano nga po ulit yung ginagamit natin to measure an angle? That is the protractor. So, yun pa rin po yung mas magandang gamitin to find out the correct measurement of each angles. Okay? So, nagkataon lang po na ito yung nandito sa ating given. Then, another type of triangle according to internal angles is the obtuse triangle. Obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle. So, dapat daw po or matatawag lang natin na obtuse triangle, yung ating triangle, kung meron tayong nag-iisang angle na mas malaki kaysa sa 90 degrees. So, dito po sa ating marking, so mapansin nyo po, magkakaiba ulit sila. So, that only means na meron tayong magkakaibang angle measurement. And at the same time, kung titingnan nyo naman po si angle B, ay talaga namang napaka-wide ng kanyang opening. So, ibig sabihin, greater than 90 degrees po yung ating angle na yan. So, here we have this measurement. Angle A is 20 degrees and then angle B is 130 degrees. Then, the last one is angle C which is 30 degrees. Okay? And then, the last type according to internal angles is the equiangular triangle. So, when we say equiangular triangle, it has three equal angles. And, ano yung three equal angles natin? We have 60, 60, 60. So, that also mean na kung meron tayong equiangular, ibig sabihin po nito siya ay equilateral din. Kapag equilateral, ibig sabihin equiangular na din siya. And, kung mapapansin nyo po yung markings natin dito ng angles ay iisa. So, ibig sabihin equal sila. Okay? So, those are the types of triangles according to the internal angles. The first one is the acute triangle. The second one is the right triangle. The third one is the obtuse triangle. And then here, the last one is the equiangular triangle. Okay, so down to our last objective for this subtopic, which is to determine the third angle measure of the triangle. Let us have first this 
properties of triangle. The first one is that a triangle has three sides, three angles, and three vertices. Again, sabi ko nga po sa inyo kanina, yung una nating definition of triangle na given is also the property. And malinaw naman po na ito talaga ay matatagbuan natin sa isang triangle. Another one is that the sum of all internal angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. Ito po ang second property of the triangle. Ito po yung pag-uusapan natin sa ating pangatlo at panghuling lesson objective for this subtopic. So, another property of a triangle is that the sum of the length of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. The next one is that the opposite side to the largest angle of a triangle is the largest side. Then, the last one is that any interior angle of the triangle is equal to the sum of its interior opposite angles. So, itong last three properties natin ng triangle, we're going to have another video for this. But for this video po muna, ito muna tayo sa ating second property. That the sum of all internal angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. So, ibig sabihin po pala nun, yung ating types of triangle according to internal angles, kung napansin nyo kanina, lahat ng sum nila equal yun lagi sa 180. So, yung una natin kanina sa ating acute triangle, we have 50 plus 70, that's 120 plus 60 is 180. Another one, we have 90 here. Automatically, kahit wala tayong given dyan sa angle, A, alam na natin na yan ay 90 degrees. Then, we have 30. So, 90 plus 30 is 120 plus 60 is 180. And then, for the obtuse triangle, kanina, meron po tayong given na 20 degrees, 130 degrees, and 30 degrees. So, kapag pinag-add po natin yan, 180 degrees po. Also, dun sa ating equiangular, 60 plus 60 plus 60, that is 180. How about for this triangle? Triangle BTS. Kung mapapansin nyo po, meron tayo ditong markings na sila ay equal. Ibig sabihin yan, si angle B is 70 at si angle S ay 70 degrees din. Now, ano kaya ang magiging measurement ni angle T? Again, the property of the triangle is that the sum of all internal angles of a triangle is equals to 180 degrees. Ilan na lang ang matitira for angle T kung ang first angle is 70 degrees at yung ating third angle is 70 degrees din. 70 plus 70 is 140 subtracted from 180. The answer is okay, 40 degrees na lang po si angle T. Okay? Another one. So, again, triangle BTS. And then, we have here two different markings sa ating angle B and angle S. Ibig sabihin, magkaiba na ngayon ng sukat ni angle B at ni angle S. Pero, ang tinatanong po ngayon is measurement ni angle S. Okay? So, si angle B daw po ay 82 degrees. Si angle T ay 37 degrees. So, what will be the measurement of angle S? The first thing that you have to do is to add 82 and 37. That is 119. Then, subtract it from 180. The answer is 61. So, angle S is 61 degrees. So, huwag natin kakalimutan yung degree sign for the angles. Para malaman natin na yun ay angles talaga. Okay, another, we have here this triangle. Again, the name is BTS or BST or TSB. Kung paano po natin yan gustong pangalanan. And then, kung mapapansin nyo po, angle B and angle S, different measurements po ulit ng angles. So, alin kaya ngayon ang nawawala? So, si angle B naman ang nawawala. And obviously, kung mapapansin po natin, masyadong wide yung opening. So, malamang more than 90 degrees po ito. And at the same time, meron tayong given na measurement for angle T at for angle S. So, what we're going to do is to add this to 18 plus 27. That is 45. Subtract it from 180. The answer is 135. So, si angle B is 135 degrees only. Okay? Let's have another example. So, we have here, again, triangle BTS. You know naman na love na love natin yan. Okay? So, ano kaya daw po ang measurement ni angle T? If we have 36 and this marking. So, kapag meron tayong ganitong marking, ito po ay anong measurement ulit? So, this is 90 degrees. Okay? So, 90 plus 36, that is what? 126. And then, subtract it from 180. Anong magiging sagot? The answer is, we have 54 degrees for angle T. Okay? How about for this triangle? So, we're going to look for the value of X. 
Okay? For the value of x naman po ang ating hahanapin. The first angle is 70, the second angle is 60, and then for the third angle, we have 8x plus 2. Ngayon, ang tinatanong po is the value of x. So, ano po yung dapat natin gawin? So, pwede tayong gumamit ng ating method in algebra wherein since the sum of all internal angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees, etong tatlong angles na to ay pwede natin i-add at maging equal sa 180 degrees. 70 plus 60 plus 8x plus 2. So, saan nanggaling yung 8x plus 2? Dito po siya nanggaling. Okay? And then, so we have to combine like Terms. So, we have constants here, 70 plus 60 plus 2, that is 132. And then, yung ating 8x, we have to retain that onto our left side of the equation kasi kailangan natin yung value ng x. So, anong gagawin natin? Sa 132, we have to apply the property which is, since ito ay positive, kailangan natin ng negative. So, magsusubtract tayo. So, ang property na gagamitin ay SPE or Subtraction Property of Equality na minsan pinapaikli natin at tinatawag natin additive inverse. So, we have to add the inverse of 132 that is Negative 132, so SPE po talaga yun na minsan tinatawag nga po natin additive inverse. So, naging negative na siya or naging minus 132 na. So, we have 8x is equal to 180 minus 132 na that is 48 degrees or 48. Then, divide both sides by 8. So, DPE naman tayo, division property of equality para ma-eliminate yung numerical coefficient ni x and that's 8. So, kaya divide both sides by 8. Ang matitira na lang po as value ng x is 6. Okay? So, now, ang nawawala daw pong value ng x dito ay 6. And to find the angle itself, so all you have to do is to substitute 6 to x, so 6 times 8 is 48 plus 2 is 50. So, yung nawawala nating angle doon ay 50. Or, pwede naman nating i-add na nga lang itong 70 and 60, then i-minus natin sa 180, then yung matitira is equal dito sa 8x plus 2. So, that's another way on how we can solve this problem. Pero, again, nanggaling pa rin siya dito sa property natin na to na the sum of all internal angles of a triangle is equal to 180. Okay? So, that's all for this video. Again, we have discussed about the definition of triangle and its different types. So, we all know that a triangle is a closed figure with three line segments. And then, for the types of triangles, dinivide natin to according to the length of its side and according to the internal angles. So, meron tayong equilateral, meron tayong isosceles and iskaline for the type of triangle according to its length of its side. And then for the types of the triangles according to its internal angles, we have the acute triangle, right triangle, obtuse triangle, and then the equiangular triangle. Then the last part of this topic is all about the angle measurement of the triangle. According to the property of triangle, ito daw pong internal angles ng triangle ay laging equal sa 180 degrees. Kaya po pag may nawawala tayong angle measure from the internal angles of the triangle, all we need to do is to add the two given angles and then subtract the sum from 180. Okay? That's all for this video and don't forget to like and share this video. Also, mag-subscribe na rin kayo kasi nga po meron pa tayong two upcoming videos about triangle congruence. Okay? Yun lang. Keep safe everyone. God bless. Bye-bye.